Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate you guys making some time to hang out with me a little bit and watch the video. We really appreciate that. And guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the top three August bass fishing lures and the worst three August bass fishing lures. In other words, the ones that you're gonna have the best success on. And then three out there that you're probably gonna waste your time with in today's video. And man, I can't believe it's already August, guys. It just seems like yesterday we were doing, you know, winter tips on jerk baits. It, as you get older, time just flies by. It's just unbelievable how dang fast time goes by. So anyway, August is a few days away, so we're going to get into that in today's video. I'm also, guys, just wanted to give you a quick reminder, since August is almost here, we're about out of time on the Solar Bath uh, RB, my, my signature series sunglass cell, uh, my uh, RB2 and RB3 series uh, sunglasses. If you buy a pair by the end of August, or excuse me, by the end of July, you can get them at 30% off, and then you can get a second pair at 60% off. And these things are freaking awesome, guys. The optical clarity on these solar bats are second to none. I'll put the solar bat link in the description if you guys like to pick up a pair and take advantage of that sale. So much appreciated. Okay, guys, August, we're getting into the toughest time of year to catch a bass in. Um, in my opinion, August and early September are by, far, are by far the toughest two months to catch bass in. A lot of different reasons for that. Um, usually by this time of year, you know, you have a thermocline starting to form, uh, depending upon the lake that you're fishing. You got some low oxygen levels and shallow water in some areas. You got some areas that the water level starting to drop. The water level, the water temperatures are really high. There's a lot of recreational boats on the traffic. You know, those dang jet skis and wave runners are everywhere out there. There's more there's more uh, noise decibels in the water, which spook the bass. So August is a tough month to catch them in. So don't, unless you're fishing for smallmouth up north, um, you need to lower your expectations a little bit with bass fishing in August and early September, because it is pretty tough. So if you're having a tough time, don't feel like you're alone, because it's a pretty challenging time to catch them. But anyway, I'm going to talk about the three best lures for the month of August, and then we're going to get into the three uh, worst lures. And also, guys, um, all the lures that I talk about today, all the best ones, which you're probably interested in, you're probably not interested in the worst ones, but um, I'll link um, <clears throat> all the three lures that I talk about uh, that they're the best August lures in my Tackle Warehouse link in the description. If you guys want to use that link, it's a good way to help the channel out, so I really appreciate that. Okay, guys, the first one we're going to talk about is a small crankbait. This is the Mega Bass Super Z1. It's not the Super Z2. It's got a shallow lip on it. And what you're going to find out as you enter August and into September and early October, you need to downsize your lures. By far, if I could give you guys one piece of advice for fishing in August, downsize your lures. And this is especially true on crankbait. So this little bitty uh, Mega Bass Super Z1 is a perfect size crankbait for August fishing. Um, the thing, this thing will run probably about probably three feet. I usually fish it on like eight to 10 pound test line. I throw it on a spinning rod a lot. And this Super Z1, guys, is really, really good in the month of August if you're fishing around some type of rock that's got uh, some fairly stained water on it. I don't think there's a better riprap bank in the month of, riprap lure in the month of August than this bait right here. So there, it comes in a lot of different colors, uh, but what I'm looking for is you need to have water visibility sort of in that 10 inch visibility to maybe a foot and a half is gonna be ideal for this. And again, I like some type of rock, rocky bank, riprap area. Um, it'll also work good around wood. Since it is a square bill, you can sort of bounce it off wood just like a square bill. But anyway, this, this bait is only like a little over, probably about an inch and a half long. And I catch a ton of fish on it. And one of the things I've noticed about um, a small crankbait is the lake, if the lake you're fishing, if the water level is starting to fall on it, um, this is a really good choice. It's like the, the faster or the more your water level falls uh, associated with warm water. Like if you got hot water with that water dropping, a little bee crankbait like this is gonna be a really, really good choice. So I, I just, I've caught a ton of fish on this bait the last two or three years. Okay, the next one guys, sort of along those same lines of downsizing is a black, this is a Zoom Magnum Finesse Worm. Now this is a four and a half inch long worm a little bit larger diameter than a regular finesse worm in the black color and again i'm downsizing in august in august i don't hardly ever fish like you know big baits like a big creature bait like a brush hog or big jigs or anything like that you'll catch a lot more fish about downsizing your soft plastics and 
There's something about it. And it's just one of those things I've figured out in fishing over the years. In the month of August, when you're flipping and pitching your soft plastics, unless you have really clear water, black is a really good choice. And again, I'm looking for that same off-colored water, water visibility from, you know, t eight to 10 inches visibility to about a foot and a half. And I usually put this on a pretty light sinker. I usually like to flip it on like an eighth ounce of eighth ounce sinker, put a three out hook in it, usually about 17 to 20 pound test Seaguar and Visix line, and just pitch and flip this thing around whatever shallow cover you got. If it's lily pads, you know, lay down trees, the boat dock, whatever your lake has with the shallow cover, you know, pitch this zoom magnum finesse worm in the black color around those, definitely get you some good bites. And the third one, guys, is another crankbait, but it's a different profile, is a small square bill crankbait. Um, this right here, you can see the difference. This is the Mega Bass uh, S, S Crank 1.2, which is the smallest size crankbait they make in, in the square bill. And here, here's the difference between the Super Z1 and the S Crank. You can see a big profile difference here. So it's a little bit fatter, a little bit squattier. It's, the length on it's about the same. It's just the diameter is a little bit different. And the square bill, now for whatever reason, a small square bill in the month of August is really good for generating a reaction strike around any type of targets. Now, like I talked about with the uh, Super Z1, I fish this around rock a lot. I'm fishing the S-crank, the small S-crank square bill around any type of target. Um, lay down trees, stumps, around the edge of a boat dock, maybe the edge of a grass bed. And this is the this is the uh, bait that I burn with in the summer in the late or excuse me in the month of August. I use a fast stop and go retrieve, make a lot of casts around one piece of cover. Um, prime example, guys, if you got a lay down tree coming in the water, and you got water visibility around that lay down tree, you know one to two foot clarity, you can take this little uh, this S crank here, guys, and you can burn it all around. You can throw it in the in the in the middle of the tree, it really deflects off limbs real good. Throw it down the edge of the tree, make multiple casts. You may have to make, you know, 15, 20, 25 casts around one lay down tree because those bass in August are sluggish, but this S crank square bill in a small size will generate a reaction strike, especially in a shad pattern. Um, I really like the S crank, some type of a shad pattern, it really works good in the, in the summer time of the year. Okay, that's my three most consistent, best lures that I, I'll, I'll throw one like special mention in there. August is a really good month when they start biting a whopper plopper too. I've catch, I catch a lot of fish on like that whopper plopper 130. So if you like top water, you can add that to your selection. Okay guys, the three worst lures that you do not want to waste your time in, in the month of August. I'm not saying you can't catch one on it, but you're probably not going to catch many on it. Number one is a big spinner bait. Now, you can catch fish in August on a small spinner bait, but stay away from your big honking spinner baits, like something with a big number six or seven willow leaf, like three quarter ounce. These big profile lures like this in the month of August are just not that effective. Again, unless you're fishing for smallmouth up north or something like that. But if you're fishing any other lake around the country, you're not gonna catch many fish in 85 degree water, you know, in tough fishing conditions on a big spinner bait. It's just not gonna work very good. Okay, the next one sort of like that is a deep diving crankbait. A deep diving crankbait, it's, it's, the bite just goes away in August for it. Now, a deep diving crankbait is a really good lure like in the month of June, maybe a little bit into the early part of July. But by the time August rolls around, I just can't catch them on a deep crankbait. When I'm talking about a deep crankbait, I'm talking about those crankbaits that run in that 15 to 20 foot zone that guys are typically fishing, you know, off deeper points and ledges. Um, they just don't work that good for me. It's like, you know, I can get on a, say a, a good secondary or main lake point or ledge in the month of June, and I can whack them on a deep diving crankbait, but you go back to that same point or that same ledge in August, and you're not gonna catch very many. You're gonna catch more like throwing a big worm around it or maybe a swim bait like the, you know, swim bait we talked about yesterday on the video. But a big deep diving crankbait, uh, for whatever reason, the mood and the personality of the fish in the uh, month of August just doesn't work very good. And finally, guys, one lure to stay away from in the month of uh, August is a lizard. I have never caught a bass in the month of August on a lizard. I don't know what it is about it. Um, I can catch them Carolina rigging a lizard some once in a while, like earlier in the summer. But, you know, when I'm pitching and flipping around shallow cover, like I do a lot in the month of August, 
Um, I've tried a lizard. I just can't get them to bite it. And for whatever, it doesn't make that much sense because look at the difference. You know, you got, you know, the uh, Magnum trickworm here, which I rip them on in August, and the lizard, which I can't get a bite on in August. So it's sort of one of those things about, it just is what it is in bass fish. And sometimes you can't really overanalyze it. The things that trigger uh, a bass to bite a lure is a mystery to a large degree. We We can like theorize what it is as far as, lure profile and sound and color and you know the way the bait looks in the water but ultimately um, the fish react to different lures and lures and lure profiles and colors based upon time of the year water temperature water clarity the length of the, of the days of sunlight as far as how much sunlight hours you have during the day it's just a, it's one of those things that makes bass fishing fun because it's a that's the mysterious part of it. And that's the part of it that's fun. It's like, don't discount the, uh, the aspect of fishing being tough sometime and, and mysterious because that's what we need. That's what keeps it fun. That's what keeps it fresh. That's what keeps us after it all the time. And when you finally figure it out, that's what is really rewarding. So anyway, guys, that's uh, my suggest uh, suggestion on this. Anyway, I'll link everything in the description of the video, my Tackle Warehouse link if you wanna pick up a few. And we'll talk later. See y'all.